Well, good morning. It is February 16th, 2024. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Ah, we have such a wonderful, awesome God. If you can just start today thanking Him for giving you life, for letting you be born so that one day you can enjoy eternity with Him. All the blessings, all the wonderful things that He has prepared for us that we can't even imagine. You know, you got up this morning because God has a plan for you today. He wants you to know how much He loves you, how much He cares for you, how special you are. Um, he has put a hunger in your heart. It is only because of the Holy Spirit drawing you to want to hear his word right now that you have this treasure this this blessing so here we go you've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning we're here to encourage you in the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ that is where true victory is found when you know that you are not only in right standing but dearly love with by God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, the one who holds this earth in perfect position so that we can live on it, says he knows every hair on your head. He knows those burdens that are in your heart. He's just waiting for you to just accept his love, his care. And because he's a loving father, sometimes he corrects us. But he corrects us in love because he's trying to perfect us, to make us into what he knows we can be. Because we have been created in the image of God. We can barely understand what God has prepared for those who love him, for those who trust him and just say, Lord, my life belongs to you. I mean, he created you in your, in, in your mother's womb. He lets you breathe. He gives you the ability to, to hear, to see. I mean, it just, the blessings that God has bestowed on mankind are so amazing. You know, the Bible talks about light came into the world, but the world loved darkness more than light. We, as believers in Christ, are to bring that light to the world and pray that those that are in the darkness will come to the light and receive that love of God. We are to represent Jesus here. This past couple of days, we have been at Synergize 2024. It's a gathering, a global gathering of pastors and, and leaders in, in the body of Christ from all over the world. This, I've been coming since the first one, um, 2002, 20, so 22 years. Every two years they hold these. Uh, Bill Bright um, was the one that I had started with to, to come to these. But I come not so much for the speakers as I do for just the fellowship to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ from all over the world. I mean, last night I sat down with a gentleman from Uganda. On the other side of us was a couple from the Philippines that are ministering in Cambodia. When you see the body of Christ just working together, it is such a blessing. I mean, we are working because we love our Heavenly Father. We love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we want to bring people to know Him. We want them to know what Jesus can do in their life. Each one of us has a story of where God brought us from. You know, the testimonies of how we're, and it seems like something is impossible, but yet... Here we are. God's made it possible. 
And the, the the scripture that just I kept thinking of is in Psalms 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. There is such a beauty. Oh, such a, just it's so hard to explain the feeling of what happens when there's brothers and sisters in Christ that are united. You know, one cause, and that is to get the gospel out to worship God together, to encourage one another, to remind ourselves that we're not in this, all by ourselves in this little corner. But God has us all over the world. We are working until he comes to take us home. We are to encourage one another. In John 17, Jesus says this, um, my little markers here. I'm going to start in verse 18 of John 17. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also be, may be sanctified by the truth. And I do not pray for these alone. In other words, he wasn't just praying for those disciples. But for those who will believe in me through their word. We are reading the words that God Almighty gave the disciples, the prophets of old to write down so that we would know him, so that we would know the love of God, his mercy, his grace. Goes on and says, me through their sorry, uh, believe me through the word their word that they also may be one as you father are in me and I in you that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me see when believers gather from all nationalities all kinds of backgrounds and yet we gather and we have a love for each other. And you realize that's my brother. That's my sister in Christ. We may look different. Our backgrounds are completely different. But we have the same Heavenly Father. The same Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The same precious blood of Jesus runs through each one of us. Making us one. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one, I and them, and you in me. That they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them as you have loved me. God loves us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, how do you know you love God? Do you have love for the brethren? You know, as many of y'all know, we go on a lot of Jeep trails, and I love it. When we meet Jeepers, you know, that just because of following the channel, they come and they meet up with us. And then there's just this connection. And then you find out that connection is Jesus Christ. We, I mean, immediately it's like your family. And it is such a joy. If you don't understand that, because you have not made then Jesus Christ truly Lord of your life. Because believe me, when you ask Jesus to be Lord and Savior of your life, you become born again. When you meet other brothers and sisters in Christ, there's just this connection that happens. Totally different backgrounds, but it's like 
you just meet. Give me an example. When I checked into the hotel, they, they allowed us to have an early, early check-in so that uh, Pastor Matt could come and, and change before going to the meeting because he had to work in the morning on Wednesday. So the, the housekeeping was still around and I was getting into the room and then I went back out. And this lady's down the hallways. I'm starting to go down. She says, ma'am, ma'am. She says, I got to tell you something. I was going to wear that same shirt this morning with a black skirt, just like you. I almost wore the same thing. And I, you know, I went up to her and I said, well, you've got good taste. She says, I just can't believe you have the same thing on that I almost put on today. Um, she was, I think, in charge of housekeeping. So I hugged her, and in conversation, of course, what do I find out? She's a believer in Jesus Christ. She was my sister in the Lord. I mean, I'd never met her before, but immediately there was just this love, you know, that just flowed between the two of us. That's what Jesus does. That's why there's missionaries that go all around the world. They'll go into hostile places because of the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus will help you do things that you never thought you'd be able to do. Um, it'll encourage you. It'll bless you. Are there going to be sometimes hurt? Are you going to sometimes get mad at a believer in Christ? You know, sometimes have conflict? Yes. In a family, that happens sometimes. But you don't keep that bitterness in. You don't keep that grudge. You realize, you know what? If it wasn't for Jesus, we would be a mess. Jesus has enough love to forgive me. I can forgive another. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's the gift of God, lest any man should boast. There's nothing any of us can do to earn salvation. It is the gift of God. It's his mercy, his grace. And because of that, you can't keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Start thinking today about how wonderful it's going to be when you go to church on Sunday. If you have the ability to do that and gather with your brothers and sisters in Christ to lift up the name of Jesus, the name above all names, Glorify and bless our Heavenly Father. Start thinking about what a blessing that is. Keep that praise song in your heart. We'll see you tomorrow morning.